my old dorm, and as you can see, it's vacant, empty. It's like this place was so lively just nine years ago when I left, and now there's like nothing here. My room would have been on the other side of that lower window there below the ground level on the middle of the court. Now it's all closed up. It's kind of odd and spooky. on the road to Buck Mountain. In fact, it's called Buck Mountain Road. We'll travel up this road a good ways. We'll go onto Buck Mountain and travel across the top of it for a while until we come to the next stopping point. So while we jump in the truck and go on to Buck Mountain. Now we're headed from the Highland Rim up onto what's actually really known as Buck Mountain. Here in a moment the road becomes three lanes because it's hard to go up this hill. Cemetery on the left. Okay, here we are in the Stamp Cemetery, which um, we knew as the Witches Cemetery back in college. And here's some of the interesting things. Take a look at these tombstones over here. They all have like little, um, almost like house roots or something on them. And they have big stones. As you look around at some of these, you notice they have a star on them. And that one tends to be an upside down star or what people commonly know as a pentagram. And this is the tall one. This is the tall one, and the story is that if you come up here at midnight and you touch the indention and the tall tombstone, a big storm will blow up.
Buck Mountain has sure changed since I was last up here. Here's what I'm looking for. This little structure I like to call the crypt. Well, here I am on Buck Mountain. Not going to get to go to the place I wanted to go to. But 10 years ago, and 10 days ago, I was actually up here on this mountain. And at that time, I said something to the likes of, wouldn't it be really nice if someone from my future would come back here and tell me, is the future okay? And um, at the time, Thought my life was going great, about ready to graduate college, classes seemed to be going good, and then see my classes went bad, a lot of other bad things just kept happening, and then with 99 coming in, I got all spooked about, who a new decade, it's like, you know, and things did get bad after that night, um, in fact, over Christmas and New Year's, I was so sick, I couldn't do anything much at all, I just didn't feel very good. Came back to Tennessee Tech, realized I had to do a lot better in my classwork, realized a whole lot of things. And um, then in January, I came back up here. And when I came back up here, I said, why on earth did no one from my future come back to warn me? All the weirdness was going to happen. Although by that point, I was feeling better. It's just things looked mighty hopeless for a while. And... Suddenly I realized it. If I went back and warned myself just one thing, like, don't mess up your relationship with Dina, I might have done something really goofy and goofed that up. I mean, I now have a three and a half month old kid. <laughs> you know, 10 years ago, I had no clue if I'd ever have kids. That's, that's how different everything was back then. And um, it's all different now. There's like no way I could predict where I'd be, that I'd be working for the same company since 1991. Of course, the company's being sold, which is a bit of stress. The thing is, you know, here I am in the future. I have a way to send just this videotape back, assuming I could find something to play it in that would play an 8mm tape back then. Nah, <laughs> I'm not going to help you. <laughs> Chris of the past is going to have to just deal with it, much like 10 years from this point, if I decide to try to come back here which this is, for the record, October 23rd, and the time is 6.35 Eastern Daylight Savings Time, which would be 5.35 Eastern, or Central Standard, or Daylight's Time. It's like, don't come back. <laughs> Do me a favor, don't. Life is too nice. I mean, good grief, look at this railroad. 10 years ago, you probably could have ran a train down it. Now it's grown up. And in fact, I've heard stories that they may be opening this railroad back up again. In 10 years, I may ride a train down this track just as a celebration when I have a ton of money to afford riding trains. You know, my son will be a little bit over 10 years old. That <laughs> would be pretty neat. He may even have a sibling. It's, um, you know, th this is Buck Mountain. This is a piece of my past. It will always be a piece of my past. In fact, the way I've immortalized it several ways, it will probably hang around for a long, long time, but uh, you can see it's a pretty cool place, <laughs> though it's all grown up, pretty neat. So I think I'm going to go back, videotape Crazy George's Bridge from the underneath, try to crawl up that way, and go home. So as to any past Chris or future Chris, I will see you later.